This weekend, Jesus is on the shore of the Seas of Galilee, and he asks some of those fishermen to drop their nets to come follow him, and he was going to make them fish for people. Well, I think Jesus is always calling us to follow him, and it's really a daily call, an hourly call, a moment-by-moment -moment call to drop what you're doing and to follow me. And while most of us want to follow Jesus, we don't really like where he's going. And it doesn't take too long for us to figure it out. That Jesus always leads us into those places where sadness and sorrow and sickness are, are big and large. Where people are not happy. Where there's dysfunction. Where there's uh, inequalities and injustices. Where there's not peace. And Jesus calls us into those places and wants us to be the ones who bring peace and healing and justice and mercy. And that is hard, hard work. Serving one another as Jesus wants us to serve creates uh, incongruities within us because it demands that I give up something for you. I've had a cold the last week or so. No COVID, but I feel like out of respect to others I meet, the inconvenience of having to wear this mask again, which is so annoying. You think I want to wear this? Of course I don't. But do I want to give a cold to someone I love? Do I want to pass on my germs to someone who's older, who's weakened, who whose immunity could take my cold and, and make them sick. We've had, we've had a couple of different prisoners in the past week die of COVID pneumonia. So my point is the little inconveniences in your life for the sake of someone else's health matter. And I think that's the way God in Christ calls us to follow him and to fish for others. May you be aware of the ways in which God is calling you this day. And you, may you be willing to follow. And may you be willing to give up just a, a little bit of what you might like for the sake of someone else's health. That, I think, is what Jesus means to follow him. We'll see you Sunday.